Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I um, wear like this cranberry eyeshadow look kind of. It's like a plum. It's really pretty for fall. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be showing you how I create my fall look. So, let me my brush. For starters, I'm going to start with my usual brown script from MAC and my Morphe M521 brush. I'm just going to put this in the crease. This color you're not really going to see a lot because of the fact that um, the cranberry shade that we're putting in the outer corner is really just going to cover this up. But this is just a really good trans transition shade for it to blend into. Just like that. So now I'm going to take my, I think this is a Morphe R39 brush, it's really dense. Um, I'm going to go into, I haven't used this in forever, a couple of months actually, my chocolate, my Too Faced chocolate bag. I'm going to use this shade right here, it's cranberry, and I'm just going to pack this in the outer corner. I'm gonna bring this, if you have hooded eyes like me, you wanna bring this above the crease. I'm gonna blend it out a little bit. Sorry. <clears throat> and I keep building it up. You can even bring it in, like, to the crease more if you wanted to. I did a little bit. Not much. Alright. So. Where is my... It's not it. <clears throat> okay. So, I'm just going to wet my flat brush. This is the one that's from Amazon. I can't even read the brand. I can't even read it. But I'm going to wet it with my Smashbox primer. And I'm going to dip into this shiny, like a uh, shimmery um, cranberry shade. I'm just going to pack this all over the lid. I used to wear this all the time, no joke, but I think I'm going to dip in with my finger and just pack it on. Because I feel like the brush is like kind of pushing around my concealer and not really packing it on as much as I wanted it to be, so... Like 
at it again. I will do it for the first layer with a brush. And then the rest of the way with uh, my finger. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with the other brush that we were using to put the cranberry in the outer corner and I'm just going to blend it together. And I'm actually going to bring the matte shade into the crease a little bit, just to make it a little bit more silky. Don't be afraid to use these colors because they hardly have any fallout at all. So whenever I use this palette, I know that I can do my foundation first and then my eyes because I know that it, I'm just not going to have any fallout. So don't be afraid. But it's also really, really hard to make this look like you have a black eye because I don't know it's just like you have to focus it in one area so if you like bring it all over the place then you're gonna make it look like you have a black eye but if you just keep doing windshield wiper motions and you don't bring it up any higher this is the only shade you can really bring up really high like up there because it's not the shade that would make you look like you got punched in the eye um so oh, yeah. Just went back in and went over it. Okay. So eyeshadow's done. All done for now. For now. So I think I'm gonna do liner. I'm using my luminous liner noir by L'Oreal. I'm going to keep it fairly thin since the eyeshadow is already a lot. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't like this liner for like the wing part of my liner. I like it for like the inner part everything but I just don't I don't know I just don't like it for the wing Yeah, see, I kept it pretty thin. I didn't want it anything. I didn't want anything like too dramatic or anything huge. So, do the other eye. Okay, I'm gonna finish this up. Move on to mascara, which is my favorite part. I don't know why, but it is. The one thing that I hate about using liners like these, the liquid liners, is that you get liner in your eyelashes. 
drives me nuts. Anyways, mascara, my usual mascara, Colossal Big Shot, and Paradise. Sorry, it's so quiet. <laughs> it's so awkward, but I I can't talk when I'm putting on my mascara. It's it's a fact. I just can't. I don't know why. I'm going to do one layer of this, the Paradise one. These are getting really dry, I need to get more. Sorry. So now I'm going on to my other coat. This is my last coat of mascara. I find that if I do any more coats, my eyelashes just look really clumpy. I love my mascara with this routine. Okay. I'm not feeling good for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna dip back into that cranberry, that matte cranberry shade. And I'm gonna put it underneath here. Just smoke it out. Because you know me, I'm always smoking up my bottom lash line. I've just been taking this orange shade that I'm running out of to blend out that color.
something like that. Now I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil, brown, you know the drill. I'm just going to throw some mascara on the bottom lash line. One more spray. Let's see if I know. Okay. All right, and this is it. Hope you guys liked it. Yeah. Pretty simple. Not too bad. Not too. Not too hard. I think I like it. It's it's good. It's it matches with like any eye color, but it really brings out brown eyes. So brown eyed girls. Get it. <laughs> uh, but thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, give it a thumbs up. Like, subscribe before you go. Um, share. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.